This guy is without a doubt one of the craziest serial killers in comic books. Hey guys, today I'll be giving you the comic book origins of Victor Zaz. Victor Zaz is, as I said, a complete psychopath. And is actually quite recognisable because of the tally marks that he's carved into his skin. Each tally represents a number of people that he has killed. Presumably so he doesn't lose count. <laughs> but, hmm. Zaz's origins were actually told when he was telling his story to a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. It actually shows that Zaz had a fairly happy childhood with caring parents that were also quite wealthy. He was also a model student at school and graduated from college as well. And when he became a grown man, he made a very good business of himself, thanks to his intelligence and his business knowledge. But when the death of his parents hit him at age 25, he actually started to spin out of control. And he took up gambling as a distraction from his parents' death. But this actually became started to become less of a distraction and more of an addiction. But one night he gambled against the wrong man. He gambled against the penguin, which ultimately ended bad for him and he ended up losing. He looked into a mirror and saw what he said to be... He said that he saw his soul, or lack thereof, and had come to the conclusion that all people were just zombies or robots with no purpose in life at all. After realising this, he had decided to commit suicide, but was stopped by an old man who tried to mug him. Zaz immediately had the upper hand and came to the conclusion that since no one had a true purpose in life, not even himself, he would actually make a purpose for him. And so he killed the old man. But he didn't just stop there. He came to the conclusion that he would become a serial killer so that he would have a purpose in life. And so that he wouldn't get bored or panic too much that he was going back to normal. He would carve a tally into his skin so that he could keep count of who he's killed. But Zaz has actually gained significant popularity because of his many appearances in in the Arkham games and also in Gotham. That was a really good performance in Gotham. I do like that one very much. But he doesn't actually have any powers, but he's good with different forms of weapons and a few different forms of fighting skill. But that's it for Victor Saz. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below, and I'll come back tomorrow to give you more origin stories. See you guys.